we are top of the league so we are top of the league uh so yeah, yeah. getting into christmas we are going to be on top and it was a good <laughs> win right it was a calm composed performance you know one big error by saliba probably his first error of the of the season um but wolves man bottom of the table um i i think lopetegi is the one who's going to be taking over yeah he is uh he's got a job in his hand like what do you see happening with this wolves team are they actually going to get relegated if the form doesn't change but obvious but i think there are other whipping boys in the league right now <laughs> and wolves wolves are a team that are known to be very well organized defensively this season it hasn't worked out for them but they have been known to have a tight defense and we saw with the low block today as well i really feel what lop lopetegui i hope that i got the name right i hope he can make some signings from his stints and his familiarity in spain where he can get some robust shape into his team i would really expect him to just start producing draws and eventually wins i'm not saying that you have to win from the first game and i also understand there is a new manager bounce but this is going to be a quantum leap especially considering the huge break that we are going to have and then the amount of games that they are going to play in a span of like 7 8 days as soon as boxing day hits these teams are going to be playing at least 3 games in yeah i think in the span 6 or 7 uh, days yeah it's yeah. going to be really really congested upside though is that he will have pretty much his entire squad to work with throughout the tournament phase I, it depends on how they do that but i think they really need that so there is i think that sort of upside to him that he may ha- he'll have like a sort of mini preseason uh before he gets to actually get back into the league and actually so there is that advantage for him uh but man this they need goals right because they don't have anybody up front who can do any any real thing i mean goed has got into a couple of good positions today but they can't not finish. yeah just just not that end, end product like that saliba error that could have easily been punished with with, with a even just a slightly better quality striker in there that should have been buried away so um of course gabriel had a fabulous game who came back to make that tackle um but anyway let's 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 hope that wolves can actually find some sort of form and get some sort of there they have pretty much been a mainstay in the premier league over the last few years so it would be really surprising to see them uh get relegated at this point Uh, but like you mentioned there are other teams in quite as much crisis as well southampton famously finally might get relegated after they sack <laughs> uh, their one good manager uh, but yeah let's talk about the team that is on top of the league what a performance calm composed odegaard the captain with two goals um okay we already oh, talked about goals. we already talked about all the good stuff though but the big thing so this is one of the things that i saw on twitter where Odegaard is now officially Arsenal's top goal scorer this top season with uh, with six goals. Um and of by the way he's is... tied with Mohamed Salah for <laughs> equal amount of goals in the Premier League this season uh, right now. So maybe maybe saying. that's uh, who is better we do. No, I mean that's <laughs> that be pushing it. <laughs> uh but the the obvious worry is that our our attack isn't like we are not Jesus famously again failed to score today no assists either uh so that is sort of becoming the running theme now with pundits is like they're trying to find some reason that Arsenal may not be able to uh clinch the Did you even notice after the post game the first thing that they ever did was like play the replays where they are like Arsenal should have conceded that penalty that was a penalty which the referee <laughs> didn't award against Arsenal and I was thinking of all the parts in this game you fo- chose to focus on that i feel like there was an offside I, in that play as well so i don't even know there was it was an offside which is yeah. why it was an offside uh, they're going to have to find that's the thing right like the team at the top why are they so good like initially it was all about oh yes arsenal are good and now with city dropping points suddenly there is a momentum building and there is a more realistic chance that okay arsenal might just have a great shot at being uh, in a title race this season and then there will be this sort of backlash from social media in general i'd presume uh, to want to pull down and to want to call some of our results lucky but uh, n- far from lucky i mean we went two goals up and we kept control of the game no nerves shown towards the end wolves played like an away side at their home ground today 
honestly adama traire i think he just looks like a long lost person who's probably had his barcelona dream cut short and <laughs> now he doesn't want to play um what what do you think is the main thing that arsenal need to think about or work towards in this interim between now and you know because of course the transfer season is not active uh, but, but what can we target your signings of... make your signings like target your signings get all of those feelers out start talking to teams people agents whoever make sure that you are making your moves on day 1 of the transfer window and not leaving it quite late because it will eventually word will eventually get out and it might just turn difficult some of our transfer targets rumor transfer targets mikhailo madrick for example is a rising star right now cody gakpo another player who was linked but linked more heavier towards man united also was a target all of these are like rising stars and if the board can see that there is an opportunity this season to be legitimate contenders i'm not saying outright winners <laughs> legitimate contenders to the bullet train that is man city to the japanese maglev train that is man city not even bullet train they are, they are the japanese maglev they are the gold standard right now if you can come anywhere close to that team the board really has to make sure that the team is supplemented well enough to cover for any additional injuries that might happen over the world cup to cover for injuries that are going to plague players just because of fatigue and to have decent enough rotation options so that you could play your squad players and your rotation options in other tournaments while maintaining focus in the league i'm not saying you should just focus on the league because hey that's not how a top team works a top team has to have this mentality where they play 3 games in 10 days 3 games in 8 days that's the mentality that's pure and simple arteta even spoke about it earlier i'm all in for it but make sure that you don't suffer because of that and there are teams that are going to get way more physical as the season progresses because they want to secure their points and they couldn't care less if your player goes out injured enzo fernandez i have my eyes on that guy for argentina hopefully that will he'll have a good tournament and we might be able to make a move for him and get him in uh, but yeah let us know who you guys think might be potential tar- targets for arsenal to kind of really bolster the team and make a real go for the title since we are already there right now uh, and as always we are a small channel subs make a huge difference likes make a huge difference so please like share subscribe and we will see you guys next time